This is a demo of Op Center navigation for the iPhone. Touch the Op Center icon on the home page and Op Center launches. This is data from a sample company. You will see five icons at the bottom. Accounts, Customers, Vendors, Reports, and Alerts. Let us start with the account screen. Here you will find checking, savings and credit card balances, accounts receivable, accounts payable, estimates, sales orders, purchase orders, income and expenses for the periods you select. Click Edit to make additions and deletions to this chart of accounts. If you want to delete any accounts, click on the red ball and delete. If you want to move any accounts up and down, you can drag it using the handle on the right side of the screen. If you want to add any account, click on the plus sign. The entire chart of accounts opens. Select which account you would like to add and click. Click Done to return to the edit screen where you can move it to the location you like best. When you touch checking, you drill down to the check register. You can drill down to the details of each transaction and view the payment received. Use the up and down arrow for seeing the next transaction of that type. Bill payment, deposit, sales receipt. Touch accounts receivable to see a list of all unpaid invoices. Notice that select period has now become select bucket, which enables you to select the aging. Let's say we select 90 and above. We now see only those invoices that are 90 days or older. You can also sort by date, by name, and by amount. You can drill down to the invoice. Similarly, the right arrow points to further detail. Touch anywhere in that row to see the item details. The same is true for Accounts Payable Register, where you can see unpaid bills by vendor. Touch Estimates to see a list of all your estimates for the period. Touch Select Period and choose from the month to date, fiscal quarter to date, and fiscal year to date. The data displayed will expand or contract accordingly. Touch any estimate to see its details. The right arrow points to further detail. Touch anywhere in that row to see item details. Similarly, you can see sales orders, purchase orders, income, and expenses for the period. When you touch the customer icon, you can see a list of all customers by balances as per the bucket you select. You can sort by customer name and by balance. Touch on the customer to see their company name, contact name, address, phone, email, and job. You can touch the phone icon to call the customer. Touch the email icon for iPhone's email function to engage. You can now sort by date, instrument type, and amount. You can see this customer's estimates, sales receipts, invoices, and payments received for the period selected. 
Drill down to see transaction details. When you touch the vendor icon, you can see a list of all vendors by balances as per the bucket you select. You can sort by vendor name and by balance. Touch on the vendor to see their company name, contact name, address, phone, and email. You can see this vendor's purchase orders, bills, item receipts, and bill payments made for the period selected. You can sort by date, instrument type, and amount. Drill down to see transaction details. Touch the reports icon to see balance sheet and income statements as per QuickBooks. In the balance sheet, the totals are visible as part of the accounts headings. You can drill down to four account types, checking, accounts receivable, accounts payable, and credit cards. In the income statement, all accounts that have balances are visible, regardless of whether you choose them to display in the account screen. You can drill down in all income and expense heads. Of particular interest is the detail in payroll expenses. You can see full detail including payroll, insurance, federal and state tax withholding information, company, and employee contributions. The alerts function is designed to alert you when transactions are being entered into QuickBooks, wherever you may be. So you are in the loop about what happens in the office without needing to be there. Visit opsent.com for further details.